Hi friends, welcome to today's video in which I will show you what I talked about in the last video. Um, today we're going to show you how scent work is going to look like in training. We have uh, three different kinds of dogs. One is nearly finished in training. We have one dog that's, let's say, a beginner. And we have one dog that's already two, two and a half weeks into scent work training. The scent of today will be coffee. Maybe ask yourself, why coffee? Coffee has a strong smell and is easy to find in the beginning for the dog. We will hide coffee inside the clubhouse for the nearly finished dog to show you how it will look like when the dog's nearly finished. Okay, let's go inside. Here we are with my Doberman. He's a little bit more experienced in the scent detection. Uh, my friends, they have already hidden the scent, so I don't know where it is. The dog doesn't know where it is. And I'm going to present him the scent of the day and we will see how it goes and if the dog finds the scent. So my command is ID, that he sticks his nose into the bottle. And as you can see, ID. ID. So ID is my command for taking in the scent. And as you can see, the dog's nose is deep inside um, the glass and he's sniffing the scent of the day. When I like the behavior, I mark it and I pay the dog. One more time. Hey. Dog's taking in the scent. That's it. I'm gonna start with my typical start position for the scent work. And for this, I use a flexi line because um, the leash doesn't get stuck somewhere under a chair or something. Sit. So, as you can see, uh, the dog was straight into work, he was searching, he was sniffing with his nose and he was uh, going directly to the sand where it was hidden and I can show you that this is where the sand was hidden. The dog found it right away, he sat down and looked at the sand, so I'm very happy with the results for today. Now. I'm going to show you a beginner dog. Uh, it's the dog from a friend of mine. It's a white shepherd. We're going to show you how we use the different training tools on the first time when we teach the dog the scent work. We have a little bit difference in the training styles. I use a clicker as a marker and uh, Roland uses his voice, his ja or prima. Um, I'm going to explain you in a different video why and how I use my clicker. So if you want to see how I use the clicker, please subscribe to my channel to not miss the video I'm going to show you. I think we just start with presenting the scent then we go over the box and then we show the dog the box with a bowl like i said this is the first time the dog will see this setup and see the scent and um yeah Jawohl. so here we see roland's dog he's uh, six years old and thus the first time the scent work we'll see how it goes we just Take a look what the dog offers us and we mark a good behavior we want. Yeah, As you can see, the dog's very focused on the handler, so we gotta find a way to show the dog I'm not the point of interest, it's our training tools. Yeah, Super. You can hear 
He doesn't use a clicker, he uses voice as a marker. Yeah. And we see he uses the hand where he doesn't have the food inside. Okay, the dog doesn't like this. Maybe we try another thing. Yeah. That works better. But we gotta pay attention that we don't use always the same training tool because otherwise this will become yeah. the mother language of the dog. So yeah. well, maybe we try the third box where we can use the direct reward. So we're gonna show the dog, uh huh, there's food inside, it's a point of interest. And later we try to teach the dog to search by himself yeah. and that we fade away the luring. Because in Sandberg, <laughs> the dog yeah. gotta work on his own. As you can see, we ended the training session with a positive feeling. The dog's happy, the handler's happy, and I think that's good for the first training session. So here we have my German Shepherd. He's about one and a half years old. And um, I'm gonna show you the training progress in the Sandburg we made the last two weeks. It's nothing fancy, but in the beginning, we tried to create love for the exercise and love for the training without any pressure. The only pressure I give is I restrict him with a leash so he doesn't run around wherever he wants to. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. At first, I give him the cue to work. My cue to work is Arbeit. You see, Opa. I let the dog figure out by himself. He already knows the box. And as you can see, he will stick his nose into the box once he finished eating. So, I try to keep it short, so I'm gonna change to my glass, which has also coffee inside. And now I will introduce a new training tool. So stay tuned. Like mentioned in the last video, we have this box uh, with a food bowl. Inside is also coffee. And the dog has never seen this box. So let's find out how he does. At first, I just shape the behavior, no commands, no nothing. You see the dog puts his nose inside, so I'm gonna do something else. I wait and I do a direct reward on the source. And then I wait till the dog puts his nose back in and do an indirect reward. And that's it. That's it for today. I'm gonna finish the session with a ball. You see, the dog's happy, it's no pressure. So I think we reach our goal for today. As I showed you before, I have a cue for work for my dogs. So when I unclip, the flat collar, the dog knows, aha, uh -huh, right now it's time to work and it's time to earn my money, my food. When I'm done with the training, I just put the flat collar back on so the dog knows, aha, uh -huh, now I have free time, no more work. So that's it for today. Uh, we showed you 
a more experienced dog. We showed you an absolutely beginner and we showed you a dog that's two and a half weeks in training. I hope you liked the video and as always, write down your questions in the comments, like and share and subscribe to my channel to not miss the upcoming videos. All right, bye bye.